Hi there, it's Shell and Clint. Good day, mate. <laughs> oh, hola. Oh, geez. Pardon. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Sorry, that's all I got, guys. Uh, yeah, Clint's back. I know some of you guys have missed him, and maybe some of you haven't. That's okay, too. <laughs> That's okay, too. <laughs> uh, today we are going to um, sew in the signatures. So I was going to do that off camera, but since this is kind of like a um, start to finish project, I wanted to show you guys that. So I think we made this, yeah, about 13. <clears throat> it looks like 13 and a quarter. So I do want each side of the signature to be six inches. So I'm just going to show you how I do that. And then the top to bottom is nine and a half, which is a good size for me. So what I do is I go ahead and I use a large ruler and I mark it at six inches. And then I just fold it because this is that really hard, um, <coughs> sorry stiff uh, stabilizer and then I just go up the whole way and just kind of fold it into place and then just kind of reiterate I guess by you know just making sure it's well folded you could iron it right now but we don't have the iron on and how clean is? I can turn it on real quick. <laughs> <coughs> I think it'll be fine. I had to eat something first before I start ironing. And it's early. I mean, it's only 7.30, I think. Uh -huh. But I wanted to get this done because yesterday I had uh, a horrible headache. I still have one today, and I'm hoping it doesn't get any worse. Clint said my neck was really swollen. I got a lot of work to do. Yeah. <clears throat> Where? Tomorrow? Tomorrow. Yeah. Man, all of a sudden we got so busy. <clears throat> it's like daily. We're having 10 to 12 locates a day come in. And, yeah, you guys know how it is. <laughs> so, I'm going to, you know what? That might be really, <laughs> really thick. <clears throat> So I haven't really started decorating yet. Oh, geez, oh, Michelle. Geez. But, oh, look how pretty that is. I told her to make it longer, but she didn't listen. <laughs> well, the good thing is, like right now, I could go ahead and extend this, just make this like <clears throat> five and a half. But that's kind of what my pages are. So, what do I want to do? I think we're just going to make this one a chunky monkey. Because usually, so it'll probably be about that full, kind of, when I am done. I think I'm okay with that. What do you guys think? Yeah? They like that idea, Daddy. Well, that's good. <laughs> oh, you guys. So we, Clint was like, oh, we don't have to do anything yesterday. Well, this one lady called and she says, you know, I'm going to have... I might need you tomorrow, which, you know, is fine. And she never did call us, <coughs> calling, like, first thing. So, we did whatever we needed to do, took a nap, and then about 12 o'clock she calls, and she's like, I need it done right now. <laughs> and I'm like, honey, you can't just keep jumping and doing these <laughs> I'm a little irritated things. about it. Yeah, you know, and I understand that she needed it, but every spring we have these people who are like, it's an emergency, it's an emergency. And, you know, she did say, oh, you know, I'm going to need it. I might need it, and I'll call you. And so I told Clint, well, she knew she was going to need it. Why yep. is she, all of a sudden, it's just a emergency. Exactly. And I have to remind him, honey, just because it's an emergency on their part doesn't mean it's one on our part. Nope. Because, and it's not like it was just down the road. It was, you know, 45 minutes to an hour away. You know, for a 10-minute locate or whatever. 
so, but it was just like, honey, for reals? Yep. So I'm like, we need to remind these people <laughs> that, you know, we're out on certain days. Making sure everything's in the right order. So I did have my kit, which is what you saw me pulling out, and I have it all in one container. I'm going to see if this will fit. I think it's going to be too small. Oh, it might work, though. It's a little bit thin. I mean, uh, thick. So what I'm going to do is... These are just some uh, templates that I've made, and I do have a center. So I'm going to go in. 13 divided by 2 is what? Six and a half. Six and a half. So, I'm going to just put a little dot right here. I'll show you why in a minute. Okay. And then one here. I thought I heard the siren bird out. Uh, mine have Okay. And then I'm just going to line this up in the center. Hi, Arthur. What are you doing now? So that it's right. Okay, right. Wait, Mama. And then, do I want though? Is that gonna work? Yeah, I'm just gonna put them like right in side the holes. Kind of have them a little bit closer. You think he's gaining weight? You say? Yeah, in the middle he's looking like he's getting a little thicker. Hmm. One, two, one, two. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. So, I hope that looks nice. I like that. I think it's very pretty. <clears throat> okay. So, yeah, it looks even. Boy, it's colder than the well diggers walks this morning. <laughs> it is really chilly today. And yesterday... Our sink froze. We have um, gray water, and yeah, so that froze, but it, it thawed out pretty quick. Yeah, we were kind of surprised. We were like, uh, what? And you have to remind, <laughs> remind ourselves it is April here. It is April, but well, I, I didn't really see like any budding as far as like flower buds. So, but I know, like, the Palisade peach people are kind of concerned that they're not going to have peaches this year. <clears throat> or they're going to have very few because it has been so cold lately. That's Clint's, like, all-time favorite thing. So, yeah. this is my first signature. So, I'm going to just put this, go through, and... You know, make sure everything looks good. But yeah, so Clint was like, no, I don't want anything to happen to my oh, no. Palisade <laughs> peaches. <Those are> good. <laughs> so it was, so we're hoping we'll have good thing. And like I said last year, you know, um, we have apricots. And our apricots have frozen every year for 20 21 years and then last year they um, we had tons of apricots it was so awesome yeah. but I think this year if we have tons we're gonna invest in a dryer dryer because I love uh, dried apricots last year I just made a bunch of jam no I made a bunch of jelly so so I'm just putting my little clips on here. I know you guys have probably seen this 150 times, but I may as well watch it another, another time, huh? So, <clears throat> but I did think, like I said, I thought about not showing this part, but since it's a start to finish, I wanted to kind of show everything, and it doesn't take all that long. 
Now, once you get the hang of it, it doesn't take long at all. So, I marked on my template, and now I'm going to just make sure it's kind of in a V, and just punch holes on those marks. But, the deeper your V is, the better your holes will be. And they'll be like right on the spine. Then I'm going to take this, and do three lengths. This is nylon cord that is waxed, and I love this. Scissors right here for book binding. It just makes life so much easier. <laughs> then I have like a dull needle. Oops. And then you just want to make sure that you're putting it on the front because this is my first signature. But yeah, so we were all resting yesterday, and then she calls, and she's like, I need you right now. <laughs> yeah. And we do charge for people who do that. Oh, because, yeah. I racked Because it's a pain, you know. I mean, if we're out and about, that's one thing, but if we're not, I'm going to yeah. start telling them when they, if they ask me how much is it going to cost, I'm going to tell them, well, it depends on how many times I get stopped getting there. Yeah. Because <laughs> I met, I was moving yesterday. But it, it's funny how we were just like, Clint's like, you want to go with me? I'm like, I haven't even showered yet. Oh, that's all right. You're going to stay in the car. I don't know why. But then, well, I just don't like to leave the house, you know, go too far if I haven't showered. And, you know, the one time I wouldn't shower to leave the house True. is... You know, the one time the car would break down or <laughs> something like that, you know. So, I'm like, okay, if you can wait for me to shower. I didn't do my hair or anything. I just, I feel better anyways when I shower. And so, he said, well, I'll wait for you. And then I had to get Miss Lorette's package in the mail. And I thought I had almost an hour, but I didn't. I only had like 10 minutes to get it. <laughs> Because we were rushing. Boy, that cover is beautiful, babe. I just want you to know that. Oh, thank you, honey. I, really like I like that. it. I really like it, too. I don't even know if I'm going to. Usually, I would put, like, a decoration on the front. But I don't know that I will. I don't think you need I think to. it's I think really it's pretty. So pretty. I mean, the lace part just makes it so pretty. I can't really see where my um, holes are. So, I kind of poke my hole. Again, just to, <laughs> just to find it. So I just go through all those, then I go underneath this one, and pull it tight. Make sure that it's nice and snug against my book, and then tie this into a knot. So. But what did we see? We saw a couple of things yesterday, didn't we, when we were out? We saw a, we have a buffalo farm. Mm -hmm. Nearby, and we saw a baby buffalo. Yeah, we saw a calf. And then we saw several, um, several cow calves. Because the cows here are having babies. Saw a few of those. The one thing I didn't get to see is a cop up close. A cop up close, yeah. I did see one. Which was a good thing because, yeah. Right now, with not working very much, we don't need uh, no. Clint to uh, <laughs> to see a cop up close. No. Although well, my big, yeah, big brother, but I've never seen him. Yeah, not right now. Uh, my sister did have to go in and have the um, COVID test. So that was a couple of days ago. She's waiting on results. She feels okay. She's just not feeling good, I guess. And so she went in and had that. You better run, you little turd. So. Hi, oh, dokey. So we're hoping for good results from that, you know. We don't have a lot of cases here, as far as we know. 
twelve. Yeah, I think we have twelve in our in not even in our county. Our county is Dolores County, but in the one south of us. South of us. Our county didn't have any, which is nice. But you know, you know. I so, I just went through and made sure everything was the way I wanted it to be. Ooh. Put my marks. But this is in Montezuma County, which is, like Clint said, south of us. And they have 12. And then the bigger county that we work in a lot has, we think it's less than 100. I, I didn't really double check or anything. But yeah, I don't know. Looks good. And then we're just going to do three. One, two, three. Hope you guys are doing well. I have been seeing <laughs> some cut your hair at home videos because people can't wait another week, I guess, or two weeks or whatever to get their hair cut. Which is funny because the one I saw this morning, it wasn't horrible, but she's like i've been in quarantine for 20 some days and i understand that but her hair did not grow that long in quarantine not even in two months or even three months she's like i can't stand it anymore i have to have it cut so then she chopped her hair she was an older lady and <laughs> she kind of ended up with one of those um haircuts where like one side is kind of shaved almost and the other side isn't and she's like I'm not going to see anyone anyway which is true but if you're not going to see anyone anyway what the heck matter about it I think she was just it just and I understand you know it gets right on your nerves and you just can't handle your hair that long anymore but yeah i mean i get that way you know i used to have really long hair but and i don't mind the long hair so much even now but i hate getting it in my eyes but that's because i'm driving all the time i mean well yeah if i'm stuck at home it wouldn't be that big of a deal but yeah i cut clint's hair and i cut my hair as well but her, man, she really gave me uh, anxiety because of the way she was cutting her hair. And I understand. I mean, if you don't know, you know, how to do your hair or whatever, that, I did that. that's one thing. But, oh, it was, I was just like, no, what are you doing? <laughs> she's like, I don't even care. Just chop it. She's a crafter. I know that because she said she was using her crafters crafting scissors <laughs> and I was like you know I should do a how to cut your hair video like for Clint I wonder if he'd let me record oh. trimming his hair oh, yeah, that'd be you know I mean because this one guy on TV he's a real famous one and he was on Ellen and he's like describing how you would cut your hair for a man and I'm thinking but he didn't show how to do it I could show how to do it and but man some of these COVID haircuts are quite funny <laughs> so if you're a hairdresser <laughs> be prepared for an onslaught because <laughs> But man, I was just like, oh, no, what are you doing? <laughs> but she was funny. She'd like to lean her head down and just start chopping with her scissors. Yeah, it's funny. And then I saw another one. I guess they're just sharing it a lot on. Oh, I'm going to put this in there too. On um, YouTube and stuff. And this, they were sharing like their hair you know bleaching out their hair and stuff and then like chunks of their hair just falling off I mean just yeah it was horrible some of them yeah I would have cried but yeah so we don't have to worry about that because like I said I do Clint's hair so. 
Okay, so that was simple. 19 minutes, didn't take long. No set talk. We have a book. Isn't that pretty? So you still can't find it? No, I tore everything out. Must be in the bedroom. In the back bedroom. So I love it when it comes into a book. It just makes me happy. So we're going to kind of look through here and see what we want. I did not do a, that's what I was thinking, a belly band. Because the one that we put in here, I had to find it. This one? Nope. <laughs> I'll find it. Here it is. Uh, the tuck spot, I thought, you know, that would make a really cute belly band, something similar to that. So I thought we'd do that today. But yeah, that's what I've been watching. I've been reading books and stuff. Um, mainly just, like I said, I just have not been feeling very good. And I was talking to my friend and she's doing the same thing. We kind of figure it's the wind or because um, we both have headaches and Ow. either the wind or um you know like the season or something i don't know i it's, don't know but you're getting your claws cut a little bug. but i was thinking man i just don't feel good <laughs> so yesterday i was going to do another two videos or something but i just didn't feel good so i didn't my scale's starting to look much better I know that not all of you care, but you know, if you care and you're following me on, <laughs> but I had a pretty good gain. Well, I had a two pound gain last week and then, um, today it was down where I'm only like up six tenths, but it was one of those weeks where you just are hungry, you eat everything and Plus, we had like ham, so it's salt, and so I was really happy that the scale's going back down. I'm one of those who weighs pretty much every day. I know some people it drives them nuts, but it works for me. So, what I'm going to do is, I kind of want this to be a little bit bigger. So, I do want this, what, around eight and a half? So... But yeah, it was just just one of those days yesterday, and my back. I mean, it's even really been hurt, hurting today as well, my neck. But, but I had to get a thing for you guys. Okay, so now we're gonna just kind of tack that down. These are my collage edge pages, is what I call them. It's just something I came up with a while back. And so I kind of try to do something, you know, I like it. I haven't really made one for belly band, but I think it'd be kind of fun because you don't have to do the same thing. So Clint was, he's trying to finish one of the, the books and <laughs> he said, honey, what, what do I need to, um, oh, that's pretty, huh? Yeah, let's put that. And I said, yeah, that one. So I said, what about that batik pattern? And he's like, what? Speak English. <laughs> yeah, you haven't shown him this one. <laughs> no, I haven't. Because it was, yeah. So, Might have mentioned it a little bit, but not necessarily showed it to him. Yeah. You want me to show it to him? Yeah, show it to him real quick because I'm going to start cutting. So, so this is... Sorry, guys. This is the remainder of... I am making a... Um, it's for Shabby Dabby Doodal. I know we already did her um, design team project. But I had a bunch of blues. So what I did is I separated blues and greens. And the journal I made was greens. So I had Clint make me a blue one. So that we could use up those blue digitals and I'm not just sitting on them and so he made this cover this is the digital again one that he made out of um, with fabric that he printed on and then I think he's going to use that I think that'll yeah. be perfect and then show me inside. Go yeah and then this is from Miss Lissette 
the inside fabric. And I think it looks really pretty. What do you think, hon? You like it? I love it. Now, who sent me that fabric? Um... It was Vicky. Vicky, yes. Vicky, 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 Vicky Jensen sent Clint part. My yeah, present. sent him some that was one fabric. That was, and then this is a batik, which I had to look it up too. And I, I just remember somebody saying, "Oh, batik." So I told Clint, "Use the batik fabric because to put just a small um, yeah. binding on it." And he's like, "What?" <laughs> yeah, so I'm doing that, and I'm also going to put the binding on my quilt journal his red quilt journal yeah and i think he's going to make some ink blenders today yes i am actually so it's just he does have a little bit of time to work on ink blenders so if you want one and this is what we're talking about um some of them will have a little bit of the dark possibly but it's a, a white wood so yeah mostly you would get like a white um color yeah that's... but he tries to get some with color but right now a lot of the ones I have now are more white than dark, than dark. so it's kind of a crap shoot which one you get I mean yeah it's just whatever he gets done in whatever yeah. order so I that's apologize what... if that's but I mean that's just you know aspen wood is a white wood yeah so you know we have someone upset about that so yeah but it is what it is yeah so just so i think i want this kind of over like okay this. well man i'm still dizzy that's not feeling very good we think it's one of his meds that he's out of and so it's making him dizzy but we're trying not to go to the store very often no. but today they were on the news they were saying what is something that you'll never take for granted again and i was thinking toilet paper <laughs> a lot of people are better gonna say that um, uh, we, okay. we did get a order of toilet paper and i think we have another one coming next week so i think we're fine for a while oh. but you know i mean you just yeah you just don't know you know, I, I, think was, I want this one. I'm not really a people person anymore because I've worked with the public so much. It's it's sometimes it's just too much, you know. And and I'm so I'm turning into a hermit. But the one thing I think, you know, getting to see our friends. But like I, you know, I did a locate for a 83 year old man, and I would have loved to be able to shake his hand, you know. Um, just, so, yeah, just friendly people just, that, yeah. you know, you always talk to and, yeah. I mean, you're always able to yeah, talk exactly. to them, but to shake hands and stuff, because, you know, that's how men a lot of times, and he was such a nice guy, oh, he, he was, was you know, nice. Clinton Helm had a lot of talking and stuff, and yeah, yeah I could see Clint was like, because the guy wanted to shake his hands and Clint's like, no. <laughs> yeah, I just couldn't do it. Not because he was worried about it, but he doesn't want to give, you know, something to the to the man either, you know. Yeah, because that's just... Oh, I like those. I think those are really pretty. But he had neuropathy, that diabetic neuropathy, which I don't have. I have uh, the nerve neuropathy, so... But we talked about it, you know. Well, and he was um, talking about his wife and... Arizona. Yeah, they're how moving he, to Arizona. How he, you know, missed his wife, and I told Clint, well, I hope he's not driving there by himself. Yeah, he is. <laughs> Tell you what, he was a pretty tough old buzzard. But I was thinking how cute that was, that he's like, I just want to go see my wife, and yeah, so it was, well, and just seeing, you know, like somebody said, you know, giving hugs and things like that too is you know kind of kind of hard not to not to do especially when you're a hugger i'm a hugger so i like yeah. to give hugs to my friends and my sister and strangers on the road on the <laughs> strangers in the during the day just kidding Ooh. i don't give strangers of course no one's stranger than me Hush. Under that. <laughs> Dang, this is going to be too narrow. Nope. 
Honey, by the time it's still going to cover up my boo-boo. Oh, yeah, you made a mess, didn't you? Shoot. So I'm going to put this on here, too. And then... It's going to be two inches. And then I'm going to go ahead and just do a seam down it. Can you guys hear him? And my little bub. That is... Yeah. Come on, little bub. So this morning... He's not allowed in the bedroom because... Well, because he's not... Because Chloe, that's Chloe's because bed. Because that's Chloe's spot. And, man, he, like, knocked me down and ran in there. and. Why, Artie? So, and then he ran under the bed. Artie. I don't know. I just thought maybe that would be kind of fun. No, because I think I would cover up too much stuff. Okay. Okay, so I think I'm Artie. done with my bottom layer. So I am going to just do a zigzag. <clears throat> what, Artie? <laughs> God, he's so precious. And then that's what he would do when I came in here, because I did go in and get him uh, after I went to the bathroom, and I did go get him. And then Clint's hard one in there, because those are the only ones... Well, Cubby's allowed in there, too, but not to sleep, no. But Pard will go in there and wake Daddy up, you know. But he didn't wake him up. No, so. I woke up. He's at the end of the bed. <laughs> Usually he climbs up on me or... And screams and hollers and... So it was quite funny, and I'm in here sitting because I just come in here and sit and read or check Facebook or whatever and like an hour later Clint wakes up but uh, right before he gets up his little guy Artie is running around and he's talking I said come here and so he'll come over and then he'll jump up and he'll kind of like tag me and then he'll jump down and run off and he kept doing that and I was like really <laughs> boy he's really jabbering in there yeah, he's in the bathroom right now so he's just like, I was like, uh, so sometimes I'm like, I wish Clint would just wake up so that I could have some peace and quiet. Peace and quiet. <laughs> okay. I wanted one, another one of those little tiny circles, which is right here, I think. But yeah, it was, been an eventful morning already because the cats just... I think I want this one. I know I already have it in there, but that's okay. So I just think that's a good, good size. And then this I have. Good day, buddy. just so cute but maybe somewhere like here let me trim it out I don't know but yeah so we just had an eventful day but you know the cats get so excited when we wake up that but yeah when I opened the bedroom door I had all these cats and they were running around my legs and I fell into the door didn't hurt myself or anything to my knowledge and then I, um, he ran in. I went in to chase him without trying to let any of the other cats in. Yeah. It was a fun morning. Fun morning. Oh, and see, I could even put that, like, off-centered. That's cute. I love that. Okay, let's do that. I think I want to ink it. <clears throat> and so he ran in, and I just shut the door. <laughs> Especially when I, I went in after him, and then he just shot under the bed. A little stinker. But he must not have been too impressed, because when I went back in, he was ready to come out. <laughs> He's never really been in there to look around or anything, but he was ready to come out already. So that was kind of cute. Yeah. It was It was cute. He is a doll. Yeah, he is. We love our little kitties. They're spoiled rotten, though. Yeah, they're no small. 
spoiled rotten. <coughs> well, and they start, I was telling my friend, they start telling me it's tree time <coughs> at 4 o'clock. Well, they know it's 5 o'clock <coughs> when it's tree time. But they don't, uh, they don't care. They're like, no, Mama, you're supposed to give us treats at 4 o'clock. So then from 4 to 5, they're just staring at me. And every time I get up and walk into the kitchen, because that's where I give them their treats, they're like under my feet waiting. I'm like, ah. But I try to keep it the same time, because if I do 5 o'clock, then it goes to, what, 6 o'clock? Is that right? Yeah. Spring forward, fall back. I don't know. I'm all confused. Anyways. Because of the daylight savings and all that good stuff. That is super cute. Okay, so I had um where's that little little thing I wanted to put on. I don't even see it. It was a work has suddenly got really really busy which it always does this time of year it's just a little bit later than usual but we've kind of decided that um, yeah people are still saying oh we have to dig which I understand but still well and I gotta get my forerunner fixed it's just this red card is killing me yeah really makes him hurt and I might put something like that there. Maybe a button. I like hmm. it. I think it's coming yep. together. What? Oh, I thought you were going to say it. You heard that dumb... I heard bird. him, but it wasn't a siren, was it? Yeah, not. But I think he's the same one. He's got three songs. I did hear it, though. I don't know if we told you guys, but my favorite bird... I love the Melwark. I love to listen to them and... and you know, even being in the country, we haven't had them here. I mean, we have them all over, but we haven't had any by our yard. So the last few years, we've actually had them uh, right in our yard or in the vicinity of them. So it's been... Yeah, uh, so we saw some yesterday. Yeah, he was we just were, um, this morning, yesterday morning when we were taking that trash. trash down. And that just to me is. Uh, it was really fun to listen to. I don't know. It's kind of like a gift from God. We're, I always think Dad's sending them, you know. Just yeah, to, we're bird watchers. We love to watch the birds and listen, just listen to the birds. And But we have a blackbird out, I think, that is a blackbird. And yeah. he, he okay. uh, sings. Oh. <laughs> Clint hasn't been here very often because he didn't remember, but no, it no. shuts off at a certain a certain amount of time. Uh, I think I'm going to see if I can find a button. I think that would be really cute. But, yeah, we have a blackbird. Oh, those are earrings. Huh. Hmm. Those are pretty, but not ah, for this. But um, he actually sings... And it sounds like a siren. It's neat. It is really, really cool. Really cool. I like that one. So that's really fun. <clears throat> and I kept telling Clint, honey, come listen to this. Yeah. And by the time he got in there, he would quit. The bird would. <clears throat> so Clint's like, oh, I think I hear it. And I'm like, no, you don't hear it, honey. <laughs> but every time I'd be like, do you hear it? No, I don't hear it. No, and exactly. it, would, it has like a set of three songs. <coughs> I'm going to do like three on this. But, um, so he will sing three songs before he gets back to the um, siren. And so I'd ask Clint, honey, do you hear that? I think I do. 
No, you don't. <laughs> and he finally got to hear it, and it was really, it's really fun to, to listen to. It is it's really awesome. Because it does, it sounds just like a siren. And it's, I mean, and, and we're talking about it, just a plain old blackbird. Yeah, and just a plain back blackbird. So it wasn't type anything. in uh, on, on your search for a, like a YouTube video, and you'll actually find them, and they, it is wild that they can do that. But yeah, they, that they can, because I was thinking, well, do we have a mockingbird or something? Something, but yeah, they will actually sound like a siren. It's pretty wild to listen to. It, it was really cool, and so the blackbird has been around for a while. I guess he was here last year, right? Yeah, he was here. I think that's where I, um, when I first heard him, because I'd never heard it before. Yeah. But it was really, really cool. Yeah, it's definitely something you don't get to hear every day, and uh, it's pretty special. Yeah, it was really neat. But yeah, we looked it up online to see what kind of bird sound, you know, had a siren. And it was just a classic blackbird. <laughs> but yeah. Hope you guys are doing well and hanging yes. in there during this stuff that's going on. Hope you had a good Easter. I know some people told me how their Easter went and for the most part it sounded pretty good. It's My niece, so nice. yeah, it was just me and Clint. My niece said that, I thought she said it was just her and him and her little boy, but I'm not sure pretty but um she said it was so cold they couldn't go outside it's her little boy's three i think now isn't he yeah he's three already and so she was talking about how so they hid um eggs inside the house it was so, so cute she kind of sh shared a video on facebook and it was pretty cute so yeah, ooh, I like that. I think that's fun. Let me use my fabric tack for that just to make sure it stays. But yeah, we had, you know, we didn't do anything big. We just did, made a ham and mashed potatoes and corn, I think is all we did. And I was gonna make some, um, homemade rolls but since I'm trying to lose weight <laughs> figured it wouldn't be worth it because Clint does not eat a bunch of bread which is weird because I bake it <laughs> he, he does he bakes he bakes bread all the time but he's just not a big bread eater but he makes really good bread and uh, but usually I'll be like oh let's have French toast or something but we haven't had that in a long time because no. Still now quite, quite a ways bread. from my, you know it, from my thing, huh? Now we have my homemade bread out, so we can use it to. Yeah, we need to have French toast. Maybe we'll have that like Friday morning or this weekend when my uh, points reset. <laughs> reset. Okay, so let's put that in here. Oh, I do want a word or something, but let's go ahead and find it. Um, I think I put the envelope thing on this. One. Yeah, I did. That is so cute. So we'll put that one over here in this one. Maybe like right here. Oh, I love that. Isn't that cute? I just love that. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is just glue top and bottom. And just make it into a belly band. Instead <coughs> of like a side page. What's fun about this is um, is you can kind of have as much over as you want. When I'm doing the side pages I try not to do that. You know I do have some overage like this one but I try not to have a whole lot coming off the edge of the page. But you know sometimes I'll put like a um, a banner or something like this over the edge. Sorry, not stick it very well. I think it'll hold. I don't want glue there. Okay. 
And then I was thinking like one of these, kind of a postcard thing. I think I'll just trim one of those out and put them underneath that. Doesn't really matter which one. But I love when they have like cut aparts in the. Oh, and somebody was asking me what the name of this is. And it's, I think it's New England by Stamperia. Sorry, I didn't look that up. But the paper pad. Such a pretty paper pad, I love it. But I love these little cut aparts. And I'll probably go ahead and cut all these out. Um, I will be making a TN as well, just to kind of use up the whole paper pad. Because that's my thing right now, is use it up and not have a bunch of leftovers. Oh, I like that idea, babe. Well, it's nice because instead of having one or two or three sheets of paper just kind of floating around, I may as well just use it and... Well, hi, Art. Have a oh, cute little... Yeah, fine. Um, TN, too, you know. And I love this paper pad. I think it's so pretty. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's one of my favorites. Okay. So, okay. Let me find it again. Here. Yeah. Are they on the box? Yeah. So that box is huge, and water heater box. The water heater box. We, I cut some holes in it so they can tell you're bored when you're cutting holes in boxes for cats. And they um have been flipping this box, and it's what it's five foot tall. Yeah. Four, four, yeah, four and a half, five foot tall. And they've actually been flipping this box, and it's like a rectangle, so it's like by three foot or something. Yeah, they're box. And they've been flipping that box from one side to the next. It's crazy. That's what they're doing. They're on top of it. <laughs> so I think that's all for this video. I just wanted to kind of show you guys some of the decoration. Uh, I still need to make a few pieces to put in here. But I think it's coming together really nicely. And I just, you know, showed you how to do that. I probably put beads or something on the, the ties. Right now that's what I'm really enjoying is just putting this. I love that pocket. So I need like a tag or something there. And But I think it's looking really, really pretty. I love this has, you know, like a little tag or something there. I am going to scan in these doilies again, but without the coffee dyed paper, and try to put them all in one kit so it has just a white background. So we'll see if I can figure that out. But aren't those beautiful? I love this journal. So pretty having so much fun but I just wanted to get that done for you guys so thank you guys so much for watching be sure and hit that subscribe button give this video a thumbs up it really helps out our channel and we will see you guys in the next video see you soon bye bye guys